Hey, Eddie from Tulip here, here at Mesa. Uh, the talk is all about OpenAI and ChatGPT. I'm sure you've heard about generative AI, but what can we actually do with it in manufacturing? And that's what we wanted to start playing with and finding out. And Tulip is the great, perfect platform for this. We have our open API connector framework, meaning we could connect to the OpenAI API very quickly. And last week, we released in our library the OpenAI connector and two or three applications that you can use. One of those is this chat GPT, um, we're calling it an AI messenger, and the idea is you can put it in a, an operator can start using it and can start classifying their their um, their issues that they're having on the shop floor really easily. Also we have Sorry, other ideas of using a co-pilot for a production manager that's allowed them to think about how they can, all the constructed data that we have in Tulip, how can we start to give them insights quickly on that, not having to do lots of analysis in Excel, but actually starting to just ask questions about their data. Maybe also down the line thinking about how can we help build the applications using sentences and descriptions of the types of apps, maybe do, building S, do SOPs using using descriptions. <laughs> but I want to show you a couple of examples today. So the first one is the, the AI, AI messenger. So this application here, imagine this would be running as part of an operator, maybe a, a work instruction or an SOP. And if they have an issue, they're able to transcribe that issue. So, for example, I have run out of motors item 003. Please, can someone order some replacements? So the operator is able, able to make a, a text description, describe the issue they're having. The generative AI is categorizing that as, say, a message or an and-on. And then it's also summarizing summarizing that. So we. We're, we're taking that description and we're actually classifying it and that gives us some data that we can start to, to look at trends on and classify that's really good for your root cause analysis and where to focus to improve your operations but also we're able to send it out to a timeline and, and this is just maybe on it could be on a dashboard somewhere um, but also we could post these messages into appropriate teams channel so a, an and on might go to the production managers and the engineers whereas a quality issue might be sent to the, the quality team for example. Um, the next application I want to show is a bit more coming from the production manager inside. So imagine you have, you have, well you do, in Tulip you have a structured data set. It's really great, great for analyzing your production. How can we use a generative AI to maybe start asking questions about that? So an example is here, I want to learn about this data set. I want to know my, say my product deliveries by product color for example. So let's see. So here the, the, AI, the generative AI, we've told it a bit about our data set. It's gone and written the query for us and then create from the, run that query on the database and given us this, this chart. So this is us starting to play around with, with the opportunities something we're going to be working on properly over the next year, 18 months. But here today, we'd love to hear how you think you could use it in your operations and go to the go to the Tulip library, download the application. If you need some help to get started and get up and running, we're here. But uh, excited to hear what you want to build.